everybody, it's Video Gaming Nation, the Asian sensation that is always here in gaming, welcoming you guys back for another episode of our Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, uh, shh, it's night time, so everyone is sleeping. Actually, guys, we are going to pick up right here. Last time, we did defeat the King Dodongo in the Dodongo's Cavern. We got the second spiritual stone. We powered up, got our magic meter, and made our way out of, uh, away from Death Mountain and everything. And we just left off right here. Where we're going next is we're going to head over to see the Zora race. And we're going to do everything we got to do over there and just kind of continue on in the game. And that was a short night because as you can see while I was talking, the moon lowers and the sun is about to rise. But as it's doing that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I believe... Oh! And there's still skeleton people out here. Okay, never mind! Uh, we got to get out of here quick. So what we're going to do is just go over here. Right. Everything is nice and uh, conveniently placed, like, within the confines of each other. It's very nice. You don't have to travel too far. At least as a kid, though. I mean... Yeah, as, as a kid, you don't gotta go too far. But... We're gonna go through here, and... Like I, like I said last episode, guys, we have two out of three... Spiritual stones Zora's River. Welcome to Zora's River, guys. As you can see up ahead, though, we have to deal with our good old friend, the Owl. I really don't want to start off an episode doing his voice. It's just... I don't think anyone would. What is this? Oh, magic jar. Right, we got our magic meter, so, um... Ladies and gentlemen. Magic. Magic. Nice. Bombs, magic, rubies, money. The whole shebang, guys. Alright, so we can go ahead and just throw that up. What? My, 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 my bomb just kind of like froze it out. Roll with it like we do in every situation in this game. Anyway, voice time. Ooh, it looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, VGA. Dude, you saw me like, uh, what? Not too long ago, at least. This is a different episode, everything, but. Anyway, we'll just roll with it. Just ahead, Zoro's Domain. That's what it's called, not the. Not the. What's that? What's that? No. Zoro's Domain. The Zoros serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Lovely. The door would not open for anyone except those who have saved or some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo hoo hoo! Get on, get on out of here, buddy. I don't want to hear you. Yeah, I don't know what this guy was, what his deal was. And my bomb just disappeared. Wow, I really am confused. This is um, uh... I'm confused. I really don't know what just happened. I really don't. Anyway, we got a chicken! And this chicken, by the way, is actually going to serve us. Uh, it's going to help us out a lot. Because we're just a kid and everything, so you can't really make that jump. But with a chicken, we can kind of fly, hover. If anyone tells you chickens can't fly, oh my god! Squid! Splatoon! Squid! Thingy! Alright. Yeah, if anyone tells you that chickens can't fly, uh, punch them in the face, because I'm proving it to you guys right now. Look at that. You can fly. True story. Anyway, I need to go over here and no, no, no. go down here. That's what you gotta go to get that heart piece, of course. Now all you do is you go over here. I know there's some frogs over here. You uh, go down there and you play enough songs for them, and they do give you a heart piece. But now we can go up here. No problem. I just journey up here. So, we're going to Zoro's Domain. I for, I'm already forgetting what I was calling it before. Zoro's... Uh, Zoro's Fountain. That's what I was calling it. I don't even think that's a place, to be quite honest. I really don't even think that's a place. Nope. Alright, so we're gonna skip over that. And just go over here. So, as the annoying owl, wise owl, whatever you want to call him, just said, you can't actually get in here because of that crashing waterfall, but we have the song Destiny. We're gonna play it right now. So, we will gain access to the Zoro's domain. Kind of weird how their, uh, their main protection to their domain is a song. You know, you could just give that song to anybody and you're giving them the key to the front door. It's like, uh, really guys? At, at least, like, 
you know, they should have the song and then some giant, like, water serpent thing that just, like, blasts out if it's just like, okay, so you know the song, but, like, I'm identifying you as someone that, like, I don't know, so, uh, bye, and then, like, this giant serpent thing just comes up. I don't know, I I'm babbling on and stuff like that, but, welcome to Zoro's Domain. Isn't that beautiful? It's all water, it's, uh, great, it really is great. Now, while we're here, there's a couple things that we can do. But there's one main thing that I want to do before we go and do anything else that's relevant to the story, I guess we should say. Because that's one of the biggest reasons we came here. Because by coming here, there's, um... Okay, let me collect my thoughts on it. Okay, so we have to come here regardless because this is where you're going to get the third spiritual stone. Not in this exact area, but behind this fishy king dude. Um... King, uh... What's his name? Oh, it's not going to tell us. Well, anyway, I'm not going to give him a voice because he only really talked to him like five times in this game. But yes, he's got a daughter, Princess Brutal, who's gone missing. And uh, behind him, he guards the uh, some giant fish named Lord Jabba Jabba. And basically, you got to go uh, see him and do everything and stuff like that. I'm not going to spoil it because we'll get there, we'll get there. But I want to go over here because if we complete this challenge, if... We complete this challenge, guys. We have the ability to breathe underwater, hold our breath longer underwater. So, it's time to play a game. Diving game, 20 rubies. Want to play? It's pretty straightforward, but I would love to, guys. I would absolutely love to. Okay. Pick up all the rubies I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. Well, sounds legit. When you pick them up, you will come back and I'll give you something very nice. All right. There they go. You guys ready? Let's do it. Start. Here we go. Woo. Dang. I get that a perfect 10. That was a nice nosedive. Anyway, go down here. Oh, missed it. Alright, so I think we got two of them though, just by that dive. That was an excellent dive. If I had a scoreboard right now, or like a scorecard, I would give that a solid 10. Honestly, I would. God, we're missing, we're missing everything. Just, just line up the shadow. And I believe this is the last one. Got it! Congratulations! Got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Alrighty. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Now, like I was saying, guys, that's not exactly something you got to do, but uh, he doesn't like to you know, hold their breath longer underwater. So it's going to definitely come in handy, or I guess, well, I guess definitely, yeah, it is something you got to do, because you are going to need to hold your breath underwater longer as the game progresses, and uh, you obviously got to do that. So, I'll go back up here real quick. Just roll to make things go by faster. Talk to Mr. Fishy Guy over here. And give me that prize! What a graceful dive. I agree. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Or hold your breath longer. No, whatever. Whatever! Anyway, I think it lets us hold it for like five seconds now. Anyway. Wait. Wait. What? I didn't want to do that. Whatever. Guess we're going diving again. I, uh... Okay, guys. Excuse me for a minute. Oh, what well, we have max money. I don't care. That was worth it. Anyway, we're just going to kind of opt out of this game right now, and we're going to dive down here. Oh, it's six. My bad. Wow. So, by going through here, we now are going to arrive at a new place known as Lake Hylia. Hyla? Hylia? Hylia? I don't know. Oh, hey, buddy. Well, what are you doing? Anyway. Now, what we want is that bottle right there. Go down, 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 down. Grab that. Come right back up. And we got an empty bottle. Put something inside it, and put, wait, there's something already inside of it. Yeah, that's 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 what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and dive right on down back into here. And 
All you have to do is go give the letter to Princess Ludo's father, that, that fishy that fish guy up there blocked in the, uh, the back passage. And I believe from that, you should just let us right on through, and we will be well on our way to collect the third spiritual stone. I really do love the music here. The whole, the, the whole composition for this entire game I love, but it just, it just seems like it gets better and better every place you go. It really does. Alright, so, we have arrived. We have an audience with the Lord, uh, what, I really don't know his name. I really don't remember the name. But! Something already inside this bottle, it's a letter. Oh wait, I think actually after you read it, all you have to do is you just have to talk to talk to him. Okay. Okay, my dear friend, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, never mind. One second guys, I'm trying to figure out life right now. As I am every day. Wow, look at look at the game screen up. Alright, here we go. Oh, this letter is from Princess Ludo. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That is who I was talking about a couple minutes ago. Uh Lord Jabu Jabu, uh you will see it very soon actually. But uh yes, she is inside of him, so he ate her. I don't get it either. They're fish people, and uh, well, once you see him, you'll, you'll probably get confused too. However, uh, we'll let him keep the letter, we'll keep the bottle, it's a fair trade, it's a fair trade, I don't know what I need the letter for, I don't need it, and uh, he's gonna move out of the way. Now, for some reason, he takes quite a long time to move out of the way, and he makes an outrageous sound when he does it. I'm gonna stop. I can't take this seriously. I really can't. I really can't, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't. I really don't know what it is. However, um, buddy, you can stop. I got enough room. Okay. There we go. So before we go behind him, though, we are gonna need one thing uh, to get any further, and that's a fish. That's right. You heard me correct, guys. I just said we need a fish. And if I'm not mistaken, we don't have to go too far from the fish because. I um, there's some... Uh, yes, there's some right here. Hey, get over here! Alright. Yeah, I used to, um... Another thing about this game when I used to play when I was younger, I didn't know where to get fish, so I was kinda traveling all over the place, searching far and wide for fish. And, uh, basically, it took a lot of time away from, uh, getting through the game. But, not this time, guys. I remember that there are fish in this exact area. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and go see Lord Jabu Jabu. Just wait. Just wait till you see him. If you guys, for those of you who know, you know, about this game and stuff, it's not gonna be a surprise, obviously. But, uh, and if anything, it's gonna be exciting, because everyone loves Lord Jabu Jabu. It's like the best dungeon in the game, right? But for those of you who don't know, get ready. Because here he is. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Jabu Jabu is indeed a giant fish. Doesn't look anything like the Zoros, but, uh, yes, so their, uh, their higher superior power is a fish. Makes sense, makes sense. But the reason we need our own fish is for this reason. All you do is to take this, you put the fish down there, and we have to offer him uh, some lunch, dinner, I don't know, it's nighttime, so we'll say dinner, but, uh, now he's hungry, he's opening in his mouth, and, uh, he's gonna eat us too. <coughs> Bye! <coughs> and welcome to the inside of Lord Jabu Jabu, or inside of Jabu Jabu's belly, same thing, same thing. But, uh, this is kind of gross, I guess, at the same time, you know, just, uh, just point that out there. It's, it's kind of gross. We're inside of a fish, but, uh, definitely don't want to be inside of a fish, but gotta do what we gotta do, right, guys? Gotta do what we gotta do. So, oh! 
Hey guys. Bubble! Bubble! I wanna pop the bubble! I did it. I did it. I popped the bubble. I popped the bubble. Whoa! Got it! Ah! Hello. Octorock. Octorock! Okay, Thank you. Thank you. I was struggling there for a minute, guys. But, get that part. So we got Octoroks, we got Bubbles, we got everything in here, guys. This fish has a lot of stuff living inside of them, and it's kind of gross. It really is. However, we're going to go ahead and walk straight in. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Imagine that. Imagine the pain you would have to go through to have this little kid just chopped up your insides with a little sword. That would hurt. I I'm not, I'm not quite concerned. Whoa! Get away from me, jellyfish. Ah, that's right! If you hit them with your sword, you get electrocuted. Okay. Fun fact. Don't ever do it. I wouldn't recommend it. I really would not. However, we're gonna go ahead and go over here. <clears throat> and it's Princess Bruno! Look, we found her! Mission accomplished, guys! We don't need to go anywhere farther than this fish. I don't want to go any farther than this fish, to be quite honest. I, uh, I'm trying to think of a voice because she is a pretty relevant character. She even grows up. But you know what? Just to kind of not stress myself out, let's hold off on the voice. We'll see her quite a few times throughout you know, the game and stuff like that. So I've got time, guys. I got time. I'd rather come up with a more unique voice than just spit out one I've already done. That's slightly altered. But, letter in a bottle, my father's worried about me, blah blah blah, I don't care, what a rebel. Going through those teenage years, I understand. I'm not a, I'm a guy, I'm not a girl, but I understand. Hey, where are you going? Hey! That's her own fault. That is her own, own fault. Well, we're gonna go ahead and go after her. We're, we're, we're a good Samaritan. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. Hey, listen, rude. I'm here to come get you. You're the one that made you. You're the one that sat down, took the time to write a letter out to your father. And how would you not expect him to send someone after you? Like, honestly, what are you doing in here in the first place? It, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. But you know what? We're going to roll with it because that's what we do in this game. Don't tell me to go home. You go home. In fact, you're the last person that has the right to tell me to go home. Listen to me, I'm yelling at the game and I'm not even doing anything. But with that, guys, I think this is actually a good stopping point. We found Princess Rudo. At this point, we actually have to do this dungeon, a majority of it, with her. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Not really. It's quite annoying. But as I said, guys, this is pretty much a good stopping point. So we're in the final dungeon. I should say we're in the third dungeon on our way to get the third spiritual stone we found princess rudo and we're gonna uh hopefully have a good time inside this fish's belly but with that guys as usual if you enjoyed the content that you have viewed in today's video be sure to hit that like button right at the bottom of said video tell me how i'm doing do you like the series so far if you do tell me exactly what you're liking about it of course if you don't enjoy the content that you viewed today you can be sure to hit that dislike button right at the bottom of said video right next to said like button but only if you're feeling like you gotta do so however with all said and done i'm video gaming asian thank you for watching guys i'll see you next time